Hello students, good afternoon. Today in this lecture we will learn about the multiplications. Okay, so our first concept is multiplication by tens. Multiplication by tens. All of you are familiar with multiplications and you had learned about multiplication, how to multiply the numbers. So see here. Tell me what is the multiplication of 5 and 10. Okay. 5 and 10. So it will be just we write 5 and afterwards we write 0. It will be 50. Okay. Now 61 into 10. So it will be 6, 1 and we write 0. Okay. 144, 154 multiply by 10. Which we can write 1, 5, 4 and we write 0. From this, what we can get, see here, see here, to find the product, we can just write 1, 0 at the end of the original whole number. See here, 5. Just we had written 5 and after that we had written 0. Similarly, first we write 61 and after that we can write 0 here. First we write 154, after that we can write 0. Okay. So this is the concept of multiplication by tens. Next concept, multiplication by multiple of 10. Okay. Multiple of 10. As we are as we know 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and so on. These are the multi multiples of 10. So see here one example 6 into 80. Okay. How we can write this one? We can write 6 into 8 into 10. Okay. So first we multiply 6 into 8. 6 8s are 48. Okay. And we can write 0 afterwards. So this is the answer of 6 into 80. Similarly, when we multiply 62 into 4. Okay. 62 into 4 into 10. We get the answer as 4 to the 8. 4 to the 24. And we can write 0 afterwards. So it will be 2, 4, 8, 0. Okay. Now see here. Next example. When we multiply 145 into 50. Okay. We can write this number as 145 into 5 into 10. Okay. So the answer is when we multiply this number. We get the answer as 7 to 5. And we have to write the 0 after the number okay now next concept multiplication by 100 okay same concept we have to follow here same rule we have to follow here 7 into 100 how we can write first we have to write 7 afterwards we have to write two zeros okay 72 into 100 we can write first this 72 and afterwards we have to write two zeros 750 into 100 first we write the number as it is 750 and afterwards we write two zeros okay so see here to find the product we can just write two zeros at the end of the original whole number okay here when we multiply by 100 then we have to write two zeros at the end of the original number okay now see here next concept multiplication by multiple of 100 multiples of 100 okay now, first example 5 into 700 how we can write this 5 into 700 
it will be pi into 7 into 100. So, pi into 7 it is how much? 5 sevens are 35 and afterwards we have to write two zeros. Okay. Next one, 45 into 600. It will be 45 into 6 into 100. How much it is? When we multiply 45 into 6, we get as the answer 270. And afterwards, we have to write two zeros. Okay. Next number. We have 750 into 500. So, first we write 750 into 5 into 100. Okay. When we multiply 750 into 5, we get the answer as 3750. When we multiply 750 into 5, we get 3750 and afterwards we have to write two zeros. So, it will be, the number will be 3 lakh 75,000. Okay. Next concept, multiplication by 1000. Okay. When we multiply a number with 1000, see here, first we write the number as it is 8. And we have to write 3 0 afterwards. 1, 2, and 3. Okay. We write 83 into 1000. First, we write the number as it is 83. And afterwards, we have to write 0. Okay. Next number that is 651 we have to write as it is and we have to write three zeros. See here to find the product we can just write three zeros. We have to write how much three zeros at the end of original whole number okay now see your next concept multiplication by multiple of thousand hmm? now see here we have 5 into 6 thousand how we can write it will be 5 into 6 into thousand 5 6 are how much it is 30 and afterwards we have to write three zeros okay now next concept next example 56 into 5 thousand so we can write 56 into 5 into thousand so the answer will be 5 6 are 30 carry 3 5 5 are 25 plus 3 28 we have to write like that 1 2 and 3 we have to write three zeros afterwards so the number is 2 lakh 80 thousand okay now next example see here 555 multiplied by 4000 so we can write this number as 555 into 4 into 1000 so the answer is when we multiply 555 into 4 we will get 2 2 2 0 and afterwards we have to write 3 zeros so the answer is 2 lakh 22 sorry it is 22 lakh 2000 okay i hope all of you understood the given concept of multiplication by tens hundreds and thousands and their multiples thank you